Cliff's going, yeah, what about this? We don't care about that, Cliff. It would be nice to go, Meow. and this is the kind of You know, come and come and come and come and come a chameleon. He's just like. Now, congratulations, you've got the worst tip I've ever seen on this cube. I don't know. What? No. Okay. Yeah, that's enough of me talking about myself. What do you think of me? Grinder, watch out, my friend, because he's the grinder. He'll smile his gentle smile, because that's his natural style. But when he's through, the laugh's on you. Hi, everyone. I'm Cliff Thorpe, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is picking out a cue for you. When you go to the rack, or when you see somebody in a room uh, going to the rack for a snooker cue, they will automatically roll the table, uh, roll the cue on the table, like so, and see if it's straight. And uh, it's not really important uh, if it's really straight. These are the two house cues here. It doesn't really matter. There's a, a player, John Spencer, three times world snooker champion and uh, just a wonderful player. And uh, uh, John, when you, uh, uh, when you saw him uh, do trick shots, uh, he, he would say, well, because he had a little nail in the cue on the butt, which helped it to uh, not roll straight or stop it from rolling straight, but also it was a really old cue and then did have a little bit of a warp in it. So when he'd play a trick shot and, and uh, everybody would clap and, uh, He'd say, well, of course, you have to have a straight cue to do that. And then you go like this and boom, 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 like this. So it was uh, um, very amusing. But also, he was one of the greatest uh, break builders uh, in the history of the game. Uh, you really want to uh, look and see if there's a, a good tip on the cue. Now, at first, you probably won't uh, uh, understand it too much, but you really want it to be shaped properly, which would be like to have a, a like a five cent coin and uh, and just so that it's domed and that it maintains that shape on the top of the coin should be the same shape on top of the tip. So that's how the tip should be shaped like this here. So here we have uh, three examples of tips. Now this is one that uh, you see in clubs when you walk into a club and uh, it's not shaped properly at all. It's just a blob. And of course, it's very soft as well. So it's lost its shape completely. But uh, they seem to turn up in, uh, in the clubs a lot more than what you think. And this tip here, this is a, a wonderful tip on here, except it's uh, uh, been flattened out. So it, it's like this. And it just needs to have some sandpaper on it. And just to do the edges like this, you know, so that it's going to be shaped more like a dome, and this is my cue, my tip on here. And uh, you can see that uh, it's a perfect dome there. Well, almost a perfect dome, which will, uh, which will uh, help to receive the chalk and the chalk will stay on the cue. The way that players are playing uh, nowadays is that the tips are a little bit harder. And the, and the good thing about that is that a hard tip is uh, uh, consistent. It's never gonna go soft pick it up and this is how you should actually hold the cube is you just pick it up like this and then you bring it up like so and then you look down and there's your grip right there that's how you should grip the cue right there so but but the balance is good and uh, um, what that means or what can mean as well or one of the things that it can mean is that um, uh, okay let's let's say that this is an 18 ounce cue well somebody that likes a 17 ounce cue or a 19 ounce cue because this is 18 uh, ounces uh, both players might like this cue right because you don't feel the weight when it's balanced properly and uh, once once you once you have a cue where the balance is good and you like it and you start uh, potting a few more balls you're gonna love it forever so that's what you're looking for and a good tip you can have Best tip in the world on this cue, of course, it's going to play great. If you don't have a good tip on this cue, 
And you've got a, a, the best tip in the world on this rack queue. This will be a better queue than this expensive queue. Uh, this is uh, one that my uh, friend Mike uh, uses. It's a John Paris queue. And uh, of course, uh, he's paid a bit of money for this, but uh, John Paris queues are uh, um, uh, the um, uh, balance is, uh, is terrific. I'm dying to do it with my queue. No, I'm, I'm, touching, I'm touching all of these other we have to cues, you know, and I don't want my game to be infected. Now, uh, here's a couple of my cues here, and this is one that I just got from a gentleman. Uh, uh, he made me a cue, and it's from Thailand, and uh, you know, it's a wonderful cue, but I've had a couple of comments on this, and it's 18.2 um, uh, ounces, and, you know, but one of the, uh, the uh, um, people who played a few shots with this said, boy, that right. really feels light. So, I'm, you know, I'm sort of like starting to question the balance uh, of this cue. And uh, also, uh, I'm trying to make it uh, narrower here. And uh, what I mean by that is I'm going to just um, uh, gradually sand this down. So when I was uh, just starting to... Uh, make sensory breaks, and I I didn't really have my own cue. That sort of felt like um, um, you know it just well it, it it's a big learning experience obviously. But but once I found that that I liked the the, uh, the cues that were a little bit thinner up here that would fit in my thumb and forefinger like so, and then all of a sudden I seemed to have more control. It just uh, that. that, that if there's more meat on this, like the British uh, cues seem to have a little bit more meat on the cue like this, but this is just too much meat. So, uh, now, uh, here's a Tom Doce cue, a famous uh, Canadian cue maker who's not with us anymore. And uh, so it's a little bit thinner here. So, automatically, I like this cue better, just because it fits good here. So that means that when I'm in the balls, brick building, I'm going to be very very comfortable so, I, mean, I might be giving something up on power shots and uh long shots but that was my career i wasn't good at long shots but i was uh, good when i got into the balls so uh it worked for me and uh and now i've got uh, another goche cue that i'm playing with now and uh, uh, uh this has got great balance right these okay so the two goches have got great balance this has got some work to do. I think uh, after I take some of the, uh, you know, the wood off it to make it a little bit thinner, that the balance will be better. But um, this is the gold chain cue that I play with now, and I love it. You know, it fits into my thumb and forefinger, and I'm still going to bring this one down as well. But it feels terrific. I don't sleep with it, but I'm in love with it. Uh, Jimmy White's cue, okay. Yeah. Now he, uh, I got one time I thought Jimmy played with a heavier cue, but Jimmy White's cue is like 17 and a half. Mm -hmm. And that's because of the, the, uh, the uh, lighter cloth. Hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'm off to the world championships in a couple of weeks. And uh, I'm going to be talking to all the greats past and present at the world championship. Lots more Watch to come. Up, my friend, cause he's the grinder. Your smile is gentle smile, cause that's his natural style. But when he's through the laughs on you.